Good afternoon, everybody. Well, I'm going to start a little bit of cleanup today. Not very much, because it's very stuffy in the shed and still too hot. But I'm going to make an attempt to get at those speakers and see if I can get rid of those and a few other items. We got to start somewhere. So let's get going. Well, this is Friday afternoon. As you can see, I've started cleaning out my shed. These are the Techniques 15-inch speakers here that I'm going to donate. Nobody's going to want them, and I'll tell you why. Uh, they're beat. They've been outside. I spray painted them black. Uh, the cabinets got a little wet and delaminated, but they're not something you want to bring into the house. They got good sound. Um, I don't know, Series L85 or something? I can't even read that. SBL95. Oh, my damn phone again. Okay. Now, this is all I managed to get out of the shed. These, these speakers represent a savings of some space, but they're beat. You know, you can see this is the way it was when I got them. You know, the speakers uh, are in good condition. There's no holes in them. But uh, th these are something that I can't sell, and I'll explain why. These speakers had a, a resonance of probably about 200 cycles thereabouts. They were very boomy, and they sounded crappy because they had no acoustics in them. They had a thin piece of uh, fiberglass in each cabinet. So what I did is I took the grill off, and, uh, and and we moved the speaker, and by the way, the speakers are very high efficiency, very small magnet, but they have good bass. And what I did is I took some old clothes, pants, shirts, and stuff, and, and bath mats that you, you know, they're all clean stuff, but it was just thrown in each cabinet, packed it, and that was my acoustic material. And then I put the speaker back in, and that reduced the resonant point substantially now these has these have good bottom end now but they're, they're extra heavy for all the padding that's in there there's probably 10 pounds of uh, at least 10 pounds of clothes in each one <laughs> so needless to say i wouldn't even attempt to sell them i'm going to donate them to the school and i put on here uh great sounding used outside for our cookouts. So I'm gonna just donate these. I'm not gonna even think of having a yard sale. And here's my box for uh, my electronic stuff that I took out of the workshop. Very musty and uh, that was that way because uh, when uh, I w this stuff was stored up at Bill Morse's place, he left the windows open on the second floor of the old uh, factory building where he was stored and it got musty. But this is my these are the tools that I saved from my old workshop. Analog meter. Um, I think this is a Harbor Freight. And some tools. And this is my uh, Fluke 73, which is my best meter that I kept. So that's that. So. Uh, that's got to go in the Doracle shed. All right, all I did, uh, other than what you see outside, is I moved everything over. I got toolbox up the yin yang. And a heavy toolbox here, all socket wrenches and stuff. This was my mother-in-law's toolbox and my father-in-law, they're both deceased now, my wife's parents. And that was their toolbox and I took that and kept that here. And, um, this is where I was going to put in the compressor. I'm going to put the compressor here. Here is what I was talking about. Oh, can't even pull that. Here's my nuts and bolts I was telling you about in the other video that I couldn't get at before. There's some heavy artillery here, folks. Ah. Uh, wood boring bits. Uh, stuff I forgot about that I never could get. Now, some of this stuff I don't really want to get rid of because I could use it. Uh, these are, I bought this at a yard sale a couple years ago. Uh, RG, uh, I think it's RG59, brand new. 
This I got at a yard sale for a dollar. This is RG6. And I was going to direct bury that for one of my security cameras, adding a another security camera. And there's some more of it right here. It's got the external ground wire. You can see that here. It's a heavy, stiff wire that runs along the cable. And I think this, this came out of a home security system at a church. Actually, it was at a church uh, that I got in, at a yard sale. I think they just, I think you can direct bury this. I'm pretty sure you can. So I moved a lot of stuff over, so I'm going to put the compressor here. Down at the bottom, I have an electric heater, which was brand new, but it was banged in on the side. I guess somebody abused it or whatever. It works perfectly that I'll probably get rid of. I was thinking of having a yard sale, but then that means I got to stay home. I can't go to a yard sale. <laughs> um, these here are UPSs. They make good inverters, but I don't think they'll run very long. I'll probably get rid of this subwoofer here. But I'm going to keep the Altic Lansing, because I've got one just like it on my computer. But I've got another subwoofer over there that I'll probably get rid of. All these uh, buckets here, um, work shoes and work pants, um, my drills and stuff, uh, rags and extra tools. I have to find a way, to, a place to put these things. I can, some of them I can stack up, but you know, like this here, I don't have to have it this full. This is just rags for cleaning. I'll work on that. Well, I got rid of the subwoofer that was in there. It's a course. I can't keep everything. Uh, the two speakers and a, uh, a damaged but otherwise brand new electric heater that I'm never going to use. Oh, these are the speakers. This is what I mean. The cabinet's really bad. See? They're made for outside only. So these are the two speakers. The electric heater, which works very well, and of course subwoofer. Just wanted to show everybody that I've started on it, but I haven't even begun to bring stuff from the Dorkle Shed over, so I don't know if this is going to come to be or not, because there's way too much stuff. I'm not going to have a yard sale, at least wise, and not on the stuff I just showed you in the truck, because first of all, nobody wants them speakers, so we'll donate them and somebody will take them. The electric heater, I probably will only get a dollar or two for anyways. That's about what I paid for it. And the cost subwoofer, uh, probably would get a dollar or two for it. It isn't worth my time doing this. I mean, if I was selling stuff like this, uh, you know, my good tools and stuff, yeah, I might get a little bit, for, but I'm not selling that. I don't know what I'm going to do about table saws yet. All right, it's very, very stuffy in here. I'm sweating like a pig. Well, I just got back from dropping the stuff off at the door of the uh, grade school I used to go to where they have the indoor flea markets every Saturday. So by dropping that stuff off uh, today, I won't have to deal with it Saturday morning. So now I put the truck back into storage and uh, got the minivan out. So there's going to be more work on this as time goes on. It's not going to happen overnight. And as I said, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to do this without literally throwing stuff away. And I'm getting rid of as much stuff as I can, the stuff that I do not need. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There will be more, I am sure. Did you know that women blink twice as many times as men?